Hey everybody, how's it going today? I sure hope you're having a good one because it sure is a beautiful day today. I'm really enjoying it here in Atlanta, Georgia and wanted to bring out some more things that I saw in the video that Aptera had posted. And so we are going to get into this baby. Let's check it out. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. I welcome one. I welcome all. And we are going to get into some more good juicy tidbits that Ab Terra is throwing out at us. And we're going to look at this video. Um, there's just some more interesting things that I picked up on when I was looking at the video. And I hope you did too. Uh, but we're going to talk about it. And Ab Terra is just, they, they're getting there. They are really moving this baby along. So let's see what we could pick up out of this video that they came out with. Let's check it out. Well, I tell you what, I don't know who did the video on this, the animation on the video, but this is really fantastic stuff because this really looks like the real edition of the Aptera. This looks like the real thing sitting in front of us. So that is very awesome. Shout out to whoever did the animation on this. That is really nice looking. But what I wanted to talk about, one of the things I realized that was really nice about this video that they came out with and show you uh, some of the things that I really appreciate is right here. You can actually see that this section right here, you can see that they already added a container where you can put the windshield wiper fluid at, and that's just making it so convenient for you. You just pop that up, lift the door up, and just pour the fluid in and that's basically it. You don't have to walk around and lift up the hood. So that is actually convenient. One of my questions is, what is that for? That looked like that is probably for the dehumidification on the window. So, I mean, I don't know. You tell me, give me, give me your thoughts on it because there is actually a vent right here that I can see that you can actually face that way and blow on the side window as well. But once again, give me your thoughts on it. And you can see the pedals, the go and stop, um, skateboard pedals. Let me blow that up a little bit because that really looks nice. And wow, that really looks fantastic the way they designed that. That is really nice. Uh, tell me how you feel about those pedals. That that really looks good. Uh, another thing is that right here, you can see where they added the manual door open or release hatch, so that you can open the door manually. There's a there's a little bar under your seat. Can you scoot your seat forward like three inches? There we go. There's a manual release back here. And that's very impressive too to have that as well. Uh, so you don't have to be fumbling around on the screen. And so, wow, that, that is really nice. The next thing I want to talk about is right here. You can look at the, you can see part of the uh, UI system. Uh, but I want to talk about this down here. Let me blow that up a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. That cup holder right there is... It looks like they got two sizes here. One, because that's a 16 ounce can, but that looked like that'll hold a little bit more than that, maybe 24 ounce. 
And then of course this right here, that looked like that's about double the size. So that would probably hold 40 ounces. That is really nice. I like how they did that. That is beautiful. And then of course your phone goes right here. I mean, you can't see it too good, but I mean, it is what it is. It, it looks nice though. Uh, hopefully your phone won't be sliding all over the place. Uh, that would be my only concern. And looks like you got an adjustable uh, steering wheel right there. That That is really nice as well. How do you feel about that? And then, of course, you also have your the buttons for your drive, park, reverse, neutral. See, they're right here. You can see them. Uh, so you got your analog buttons for your drive, park. I think that is very smart because if your UI goes out, then you really can't do anything if everything is just basically connected to your infotainment system or to the UI screen. And you just be uh, parked somewhere without able to do anything. But at least with this added, you can actually, um, you can still put it in drive and drive wherever you need to go to, uh, as well as with the uh, manual door release, you, you could do that too, get out without having to go through the UI. So Aptera thinks of everything that's very impressive. I'm really impressed with that. And this right here, this is the main UI screen. You can see that, wow, they did a fantastic job with this. That really looks nice. I also like, uh, let me point this out first. The transition between the solar panel section and down where it separates to the passenger section with that bar running across there. And I don't know what type of material this is right here, but that really looks nice. It looks like some type of leather. Uh, maybe it might be some type of imitation leather. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? But that really looks nice. Let me let me go back out for a second because I like the way that looks, the way that transitions into that area. Everything looks nice, smooth, and clean. Give me your thoughts on it. But um, now I'm going to talk about the, um, the UI system. I looked at this before, and basically in the video that I brought out about this, that you could only make out, it was a game of love. And then I think you could tell what the battery, you could, it just said 400 on there and it was charging. So it wasn't all the way, but you couldn't tell. But it's got the clock on here and it's got the driver Jackson. You was able to tell that. And no doubt it, he is probably locked in by Bluetooth. As you can see over here, because it says down here, Jackson's phone has got the Bluetooth symbol. So no doubt that is is awesome how they got that set up. And you can tell now that that up the top, I couldn't tell what that said before, but it says Daft Punk, Game of Love. Uh, and you even got a volume control down here. So that is pretty nice. Um, I also like how, and I wonder if you could turn this on or off that the passenger airbag is off right now and it's showing the pressure gauge of the tire actually being low. But if you come over to this side right here, then it shows you which tire is actually low in pressure. So that is really awesome. That is nice, nice indeed. Uh, but this down here, I knew that was for the door and this is probably the open the driver's side door, the passenger side door, the hatchback, you can lift that up. And this is for the windows up and down on the driver's side, up and down for the passenger side. This looked like you could probably change the camera view because that looks like a camera. Uh, and I guess maybe you could go from back to front. I don't know. Um, and maybe you could even look at one of the side uh, cameras as well. That would be nice. And as you move to the center, you can see uh, this is nice. Uh, with the controls up, you got your charging and it looks like you gained eight miles of charging while you was away. 
There's still an hour and 24 minutes left remaining to charge it. And I like how this battery bar right here is no doubt the same as this one because you could tell that there's only just a little bit left for it to charge up to. And this one as well, there's just a little bit left. So that is awesome how they did that and it's all in the green. I would imagine that if the battery gets pretty low that this would go from green to orange and I mean from green to yellow to orange and then to red and all this would glow red so to give you an indication of where your battery is at and this this is nice too because you got your temperature control whether you want it high or low you got your fan control you can lift your seat up push it back uh push the seat down so that's pretty nice and then you got your uh, vents uh, no doubt you can control that probably by here and this is just uh, interior air only because sometimes you get air in your vehicle and you like if you're behind a garbage truck or something you can't t stand the smell and so you would just switch that to the interior fan and let that blow uh one thing that i don't see on here that uh I mean, I don't know if it's really needed, but the temperature inside the vehicle would be nice. I know um, on one of the apps, one of the old versions of your phone app that they were working on, it showed the inside temperature and the outside temperature. Uh, maybe that would be in settings to set your screen up. So I don't know, but that would be nice to be able to do that. Uh, safety and then about. Uh, you could see what that was, but um, you tell me your thoughts on that. I would want to hear about that. That 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 would be nice. But yeah, that really looks nice. The inside transition from front to back. But all oh, this is really looking good. I I applaud Aptera. You guys are awesome. Y'all doing some fantastic things. And one more thing I want to show you in this video, this picture here to show you that that I wasn't wrong about the inside manual release uh, on this side, you can actually see it. So there's the manual release right there. And I mean, it's kind of dark. It's hard to visualize it. I tried to get I could get as close as I can, but you could you could tell that that's a handle that you just pull up and no doubt you release the door. But Aptera, they're just moving right ahead. They're just getting this thing looking good. Oh man, Aptera, every day they're getting closer and closer to having this thing done. Very soon now, we are probably going to have the Aptera PI edition coming out. And that's just, uh, that's just amazing. Um, once again, that section that I showed you about where the the vent tied into the door. I don't know what that goes to because the vent right here, that can blow directly on this window as well to defrost it. But anyway, you know, once again, tell me what you think. I want to hear from you. I enjoy your comments. I appreciate all that you guys are saying and do as we look at Aptera and they continue to get these vehicles out, but they're not done as they continue to innovate their vehicle before it comes out. Uh, this is just going to be game changer once they do come out. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All my patrons, you guys. Oh man, I truly appreciate all that you do. Thanks for helping and continue to watch my videos. You're helping me to make this grow. And if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. You'll catch all my new videos when they come out. But I am so excited what Aptera is doing. I hope you are too. Very soon, we're going to start seeing the PI edition, hopefully, on the road. Even though it is, they're basically just going to be test vehicles. But anyway, y'all take care. You have a good one. Things are just getting better and better. Oh, man. And they are going to continue to get better as this year close out. Take care. Bye-bye.